Previously on Sailing in Okinawa, we were west of the mainland of Okinawa at Zamami Island where we were doing a sailing course. We got sidetracked a little bit when we discovered that there may be something wrong with the rigging. We went up and checked it out and found out everything was hunky-dory. This time on Sailing in Okinawa, we'll climb aboard the 33-foot Yamaha called Rascal. She's owned by Julian, and she's normally dry docked here in Okinawa, but we took her out for a day sail to see what she could do. Today, we're headed aboard Julian Koei's 33-foot Yamaha Sloop Rigged Rascal. Built in 1979, it has a Yanmar 2GM20 direct cooling engine. Today, we're headed out for a day sail on the west coast of Okinawa. Julian brought Rascal to Okinawa after purchasing her in March 2019. From 16 March to 24 June 2019, he brought the boat down from mainland Japan. Rascal is normally dry docked at Ginawan, mainly because Julian works in Tokyo and only manages about a month in March and two months in the summer to come to Okinawa to sail her. And that was the only slip available at the time. Okay, let's take out the jib. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Julian has done a lot of work on the exterior, including adding a new gel coat in red. Originally from St. Leonard's on Sea in East Sussex in the south coast of England, Julian first came to Japan in 1989. He's been working in his current job for about 21 years. Kenji of Ullman Sales joined us for the day sail and we got up to speeds more than 6.5 knots. We started sailing in Japan uh, in 1990 and that's how he met his wife, Nana. A lot of dinghy sailing in Motobu in the northern part of Okinawa since 2003. The interior of Rascal is being done as much by Julian as possible to improve the livability and comfort of the cabins. I did try to interview Julian underway, but the wind just wasn't cooperating. The only audio I could really sound is, is this part. After about a 10 minute interview, you're only seeing about 30 seconds. Sails nice. Yeah, she punches through the waves pretty nicely because she's so heavy. Mm. This is my favorite way to sail here in Okinawa. When the seas are a little bit flat, but there's enough wind to carry you around. I'm not really a racer, but I really enjoy this because we can always go next weekend if the weather's bad. I understand people always say that rough weather makes a better sailor, but when you own the boat in such an exotic locale and the weather's crappy, you can always just go next weekend and do something else. So that's what I do. We had been out on the west coast of Okinawa outside of Ginawan for about an hour and a half and we decided that maybe it's time to go back home. Because Julian is going back home to mainland, he asked us also if we could pull down the Genoa instead of just furling it because he had planned on packing up the boat later that day. My biggest concern here was not getting knocked overboard by the flapping Genoa. And so Kenji moved up front and pulled down the bottom or foot of the sail while I helped go ahead and fold it up 
so we could then enter into Ginawan port. The water here in Okinawa never ceases to amaze me. It's just beautiful. Here, we're pulling back into his temporary slip that he uses while he's here in Okinawa. I'd like to thank Julian for allowing me to feature his boat, Rascal, on Sailing in Okinawa. One of the reasons why I'm not a single boat channel is because I want to show you other boats here in Okinawa and some of the cool people that sail out of here. Next time on Sailing in Okinawa, we check out what happens after a fire guts a local boat here at Ginawan Marina. I think this is most people's worst nightmare other than a boat sinking.